So today we are back with the updated Universal Monster Frame mod here in Beam and G Drive. And folks, it now works with the new T-Series remake. So we're going to do some police chases and we're going to be going down the Crash Hard Mountain. So stay tuned until the end. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, isn't this the cutest little T-Series remake you've ever seen? Well, it's got a, uh, a big brother now. Um, yes, the Universal Monster Frame by Ashmaker has been updated. And uh, it now supports the T-Series remake. And is this the most ridiculous thing that you've ever seen so folks i can go over here to the t-series and as you can see up here we got the big feeder the midzilla you got a mini zilla the roar shredder which is the big dump uh one and there's even the new cab overs in there too also check this thing out this thing is ridiculous it's got a cement mixer on the back of it um that would honestly be cool if you were doing some construction and this thing pulled up uh, a little heavy in the back but uh, the frame, everything supports it. It's actually, it works really well. You can uh, turn on a rear steer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't know if I'd be doing that much. Well, actually, you know what? If we are going to take a trailer, I probably would do that. So, yeah, uh, we're going to play around with this mod to start out with. And do stay tuned, because, like I said in the intro, we are going to be going to the Crash Hard Mountain to attempt to race some of these down. I feel like these really long boys are going to be ridiculous. Also, I'm totally going to do an episode with Spy, because we need to drive cars under this because like i think you could fit a d series under this hold on let's do a little test uh real quick oh my goodness look at the clearance this thing could totally this could drive under it actually probably fairly easy so yeah we'll definitely have to do something where somebody's uh going wide open and i have to drive under wait are we caught on something wait i feel like i'm caught on something invisible here hold on uh let's reset the truck maybe there's i don't know what that would be hold on let's see if it does it with the other one Okay, let's test this one out and see if it does the same thing. Is there something on the D-Series catching? Um, okay, this one works. Uh, I'll bring that up to Ash Baker. By the way, if you want to download this, hopefully it's down in the description. Uh, the mod repo has been a little slow at improving mods, uh, but hopefully it's down there so you guys can check this out too. So yeah, I think we should make this extra hard to begin with. So I've got the mini Zilla here. It is the cab over, uh, which is a part of the new T-Series remake. And yeah, we're going to hook up a... A um, giant container here. This will be great. On oh, lock those in. Up oh, on oh, a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Took a little bit to get that hooked up. Oh my goodness. I think I broke. So oh, um, that's probably supposed to be attached. Uh, by the way, I have my rear steer uh, to where I can enable and disable it. So if I need help uh, making a tight corner, we can do that. But yeah, we're definitely gonna have to run this down the crash hard mountain. What's that sound? Is that an alarm going off? It kind of sounds like it. it's because I broke the front end. I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this is going to work out fine, right? Uh, let's go ahead and turn it out of here. You know, honestly, it turns really quite well. You know, we played with a car carrier the other day, and I had issues. Oh, something has collapsed, and yeah, I, I should probably reset this. Yeah, let's just see how far we can get with this uh, current setup. Uh, something's definitely broken to the front suspension. Oh, there's a cop under us. Oh, that seems very unpleasant. Hold on, let's just gas it. Oh my goodness. They have ripped apart the back. Hold on. Uh, I can fix this. Okay, maybe we should reset. Okay, hopefully we'll have a non-busted front suspension. I, I think I just broke something while backing up. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's pretty cool seeing the new containers on here. Now, the monster frame also uh, deals with a lot of the other vehicles in the game. We've checked those out. I just wanted to touch base with this. Uh, since it does uh, have the new stuff for the T-Series remastered. But yeah, the turning's great. Like, way better than the uh, car carrier that I was doing the other day. Which, I mean, to be fair, that was traditional, like, diesel truck steering. A really, really sharp road. And I had a uh, trailer full of cars on it. But yeah, this is working out really well. Also, uh, look at how ridiculous this view is. Like, we are so high up in the uh, air. Also, it still does have the, uh, the good mirrors on it, the new ones. Uh, so you can see the uh, massive trailer load that we have. Do I think I could get down this road? You know, honestly, I kind of want to just go off-roading. Uh, the cops are after me too, by the way. Um, it's going to be, well, I would say it's hard to stop me, but I think they get caught up in the trailer. That's how they stopped us last time. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is cool though. Uh, let's just roll down. Oh, we're going to run over a couple civilians here. Uh, it's fine. You should have installed a roll cage on your car. Oh, geez. Here we go. Oh, just pile up the cops. Oh, uh oh. Okay, maybe it's advised not to run over too many of them. No! Oh my goodness. 
The trailer shifted and I crushed that poor red car. Okay, I think... Oh, we exchanged insurance information. I'm sure that's going to be useful for him right now. Okay, hook it back up. You know what? We're going to try off-roading here. Maybe I do need to approach this differently. Uh, also, I think the trailer just broke the rear section. You got to kind of wait for this thing to settle before you start hitting the gas. I still might have been in it a little too early there. I mean, it's still driving. Honestly, it's just easier to do this. Like, this is great. I can just drive right across. Uh, really no worries. Like, the cops can't stop me now. Uh, the only problem is I probably need to go the other way in order to get down this mountain. Uh, it is a tree that has stopped me. Oh, my. Okay. Nope. It's fine. Yeah, the trailers are still really tricky. Like, the tanker that we saw at the beginning of the video, like, that's actually quite a bit easier to drive, and it just broke apart. Okay. Trailers might not be a good idea. Do I think I can go off the side here? Is there a way down that's safe? I thought maybe there was like a gradual decline somewhere. That's what I need to find. Uh, I know the road does it over in this direction. We're just going to go this way. The cops can't stop me. Oh, here we go. Man, I love the uh, the mod community here in BMG Drive. You always get like really like grounded, like realistic, cool vehicles. And then you get stuff like this, which is ridiculous and absolutely lovely. And oh my goodness. Uh, is there not a way to drive? Oh, we're going to go over this. Oh, oh, oh. how did we make the, uh oh, uh oh, the rear broke. The rear broke. Yep. We're definitely doing stuff you're not supposed to do in this. Um, <laughs> we are teetering. That actually looks really cool. Yeah. We're teetering on the edge. Um, shall we just take the leap of faith here? Yeah. Let's just go for it. Let's see if we can drag the trail. Oh no. I got caught by the rear section of the frame. Oh, well, this would be a not fun situation. Could you? Oh, <laughs> Uh, you see the cops down there? Oh, gun it. Can I get... Wait, if I just release the trailer. Oh, there we go. Yep, there it is. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Don't land on the cab, please. Ooh. Okay, you know, there's a chance we made it out of that alive. Uh, barely. All right, so maybe trailers, while they do work, probably not a great idea for what we're doing right now. Let's switch back to maybe one of the long frames. Okay, let's just use this dump trailer. Wait, hold on. Does the dump trailer still function? Oh my goodness, I think it does. So you got the tailgate lock. Uh, you got the hydraulic control. I, I think it still works. So real quick, I'm just looking inside. I don't see... I see like the tailgate lock and then you have the compression brake. Hold on, does that... Does one of these actually lift? Let's go shift T. I have to see. I'm not sure the hydraulics are working on this uh, dump trailer anymore. Uh, by the way, I forgot you can actually like turn all this on. Uh, it's so satisfying, some of the buttons in the uh, uh, the T-Series remake here. But let's just take off this. Yeah, it seems more rigid. I don't know if it's just a longer frame. Uh, but I, I feel like this is a little bit more doable. I don't... Do I need the rear steer right now? Oh, geez. Uh... Uh, maybe I should activate. Oh, let's just cross over real quick. And let's get down to the bottom. There we go. This is more like it. Oh, my good. Okay, we're going to activate the rear steer here. Uh, that way, hopefully, it might assist us. Oh, it's a big rock. That's a big rock. Oh, it powered over it. Lovely. Oh, man, this is so... It's so ridiculous, but so cool. On turn to the right. Oh, don't tip. You just got to stop it from tipping there. Oh, my rear steer, it actually turned the opposite direction. There we go, now I got it working. <laughs> you can crab walk in this thing, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, all right, oh, I've evaded the police. Well, I guess the easy way to evade the police is just drive in the middle of nowhere here in Utah. Oh, let's drive it up here. Let's try uh, maybe climbing a bit with it. Uh, come on, let's see if we can get up over this rock here. Oh, it's that, I mean, it works pretty well. Uh, you got plenty of clearance. Uh, I do think that the where the engine is, uh, sometimes it'll get kind of caught up on objects. Uh, I can see that definitely being an issue if we try driving vehicles under it. Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, no, it, yep, it got caught there for a second. Oh, I'm going to tip over. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yep, pressure tank is leaking. Uh, is that my hydraulic tank? Is that what that is? Well, can I still open the... Oh, I don't think I'm opening the door. Uh, but you guys get the idea. It now works with the uh, the T-Series remake, but I feel like, and there is a uh, three-speed transmission in here that makes it to where it can go a lot faster. I feel like driving these down the Crash Hard Mountain real quick and just testing that and seeing how it handles these long frames. Okay, so check this thing out. This is the uh, massive flatbed here. This is called the Thunderclaw. It looks really, really good. 
Uh, I think we'll start with this one. I could probably line them up three across. I don't think I want to do four. I'm going to try to keep them from hitting each other uh, initially. That way they get down and up to speed. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can easily swap out. So if you go to the rear frame, rear chassis, engine, and we have a three-speed shiftable automatic, this will make it to where they can go a little bit faster. They still might blow the engine, but that's fine here on the Crash Hard Mountain. It'll go into neutral, and we'll just roll down. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, spam some of these in. All right, I got nine of these things up here. I got a little bit of lag. It wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can make it down. Here we go. Three, two, one, and they're off. Why do I feel like they're just going to explode? Maybe we should only do two per row. Hold on. No, this is working. Uh, maybe the three is going to work. Oh, they're crowding each other a little bit. Oh, no, not in front of me. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh yep, yeah, that's... Okay, we survived. I don't know how. All right, so here we go. Let's see what kind of speed we can get. Look at this. Oh, man, that's just too fast. And, oh, here we go. That is a massive crash. Maybe we should use the mini one. This one might be too big. Oh, no, I thought I was going to get by it. No, no, there goes the cab. Okay, can't confirm. Not a single monster truck here made it. Um, I mean, it looked cool. Yeah, that one, uh, I mean, the frame and stuff, it held up relatively well. The cab, on the other hand, not so much. Uh, not great. Okay, we're going to go with the Mini Zilla. Let's give this a go. Three, two, one. And we're off. Come on, don't break. Okay. Uh, why was that? What, what did they just do? Why? why? Okay. They weren't really spaced out any different there. By the way, I accidentally left the two-speed in. Uh, it's going to blow, so just give it just a second, and then we'll just be in neutral rolling down. Might actually be better. I don't know. And, oh, there we go. I mean, the left lane actually did really good there. I don't know what happened with the middle lane crowding the right lane, but I'll look back. Oh, we still got one more behind us. Uh, oh, you know, 175 and something like this is scary. Yep, especially when that happens. Oh, this is bad. And there they go. So maybe they're not quite built for the crash hard mountain. Oh, that was a nice landing. I broke something in the front end, but I think we're actually going to be able to roll down in this. Not bad at all. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. If we could maybe make it a little bit faster, I believe I could probably put a nitrous tank on here. Do we think we can make the bridge jump with this? Because if we could, that would be amazing. Because honestly, the suspension held up relatively well. It did get a little bit of damage, but it was enough to where I think it would survive a jump. So of course, on this map, you have the broken bridge, which we've used in many videos, uh, where you hit the ramp, try to clear it. Uh, it's going to be close. I think it might do it, especially if I put the right transmission in and give it some nitrous. Uh, I mean, Jado's would be nice too, but uh, well, maybe Ashmaker will do that in the future. Okay, got a big boy tank of nitrous on there. Uh, I don't know if I want to activate it immediately. Hold on, let's get rolling here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got the three speed. All right, nitrous is on. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. I'm hoping it makes a decent difference. Man, if only this road was, like, going downhill before you hit the jump. It'd be perfect. But here we go. We're getting good speed here. Uh, I just hope that it's going to be able to take the impact. Oh, it's actually wobbling a little bit. Yeah, I hope it's going to be able to take the impact of the ramp. Uh, that's that's the hope. Oh, buddy. All right. Looks like we're going to hit maybe it's going to lose a little bit of speed here. 145-ish. Oh, it's enough. It is enough. Hold on. Okay, well, if it wouldn't have blown apart there, I don't wonder if it's because I released from the ramp a little wonky. Yo, it makes it. Honestly, that's really impressive. Okay, gas it fully. Try to focus on just keeping it straight. You got to hit the ramp just right. Yeah, it does. It starts to sway. Like, you can actually see it a little bit. So, if you, like, focus on the body, but then you'll see where, like, the shocks and springs, like, everything actually... Just look like shocks. I guess there maybe is some springs in there. But, like, you can see them swaying. And, like, the chassis on top is swaying from the left to the right. So it actually interferes a little bit with the steering. Which I think is just how tall it is. All right, here we go. Uh, that's That was a much better release. Okay. Oh. Oh. Man, I gassed it a little. Wait. Well, you know, I think I count that. That, that was honestly beautiful. I think I held the throttle a little bit too long, so it'll try to rotate and go backwards and try to backflip. I think if you release the throttle at the right time, you would have a nice, like, flat landing. Honestly, it's it's so good. Like, I, I love 
ridiculous mods like this and it's awesome that ash maker has come out with this and if you guys want to check it out hopefully it's linked down in the description and hopefully it's on the repo by now but if not it is coming uh it is like i said there is one out but this is the updated version for the new t-series so also go check out his channel i'll have him linked down in the description we'll see you guys next time